Hey guys, uh, so finally come to this point, one of the best um, pieces of footage, Bigfoot footage, Sasquatch, Skunk Ape, etc. that I have ever seen. Um, I think I saw a Skunk Ape, please help. So that's, this is the description on the original video, I'll just let you read that for yourself. Okay. So the, the color varies between stages here due to contrast boosting, I believe the actual color of the Sasquatch is black. Um, or a very dark grey. But um, if you watch M.K. Davis's uh, videos and breakdowns on this, you will see what I think, what I believe is is near enough the the, the, the truest the truest color that um, I think you could possibly see. So I I mean there, there's so many clips in this actual video that I'm doing the breakdown. Um, I just didn't really have time to correct the color you know in e each individual clip so s um, so for first time viewers the power crack audio and image enhanced slight zoom so this is this will give you just the sort of gist of what's going on here and by the way if, if your volume is turned all the way up I suggest you turn it down on especially if you're wearing headphones <laughs> more time okay good the pickup so these are the things so I go along here and, and these these are like notes I leave myself to so I don't just so I don't forget anything and kind of like chapters in in this sort of a story as I go along so these are all also in order by the way of of the video itself. So this one is um, what I believe to be the adult picking up something, probably um, a young a young one, baby or infant sort of age. The, the adult is here behind this tree. This is the tree in question where she, I believe it's she, a uh, female, that she is breaking open the hole to get something inside, possibly um, honey or something like that from the honeycomb um, as we know during during the video you'll hear maybe not this one um, because I well, like I say I've only cut uh, I've only taken sections um, you will hear buzzing like bees buzzing in the background that kind of thing so here um, she's picking up something as you can see clearly something. So next is the tool. I'll just play this uh, small section. Okay, now I'll take a closer look. So as you can see, um, she is using a tool, probably a stick or something a branch, so I'm scrolling back and forth now that could possibly be her left hand on the end of that stick just there so prising open the wood the hole to make it larger to get inside good a uh, little foot so here um, on the back of the adult I noticed um, a foot just here which seems to be moving moving in time with the adult as she kind of um, shifts and moves um, slightly side to side so I'm scrolling back and forth now as you can see it's very um, blurry and fuzzy let's take a closer look 
just here. And I believe this is the uh, the backside of the um, juvenile, a young one, infant on the back, right arm, so holding on, maybe here, uh, maybe yeah, it kind of looks like a thumb, so wrapping around there, the fur, the hair, head is here, and here's a still, right then. Uh, some stills uh, enhancements. Da -da -da. There we go. You can kind of see the ball, of the, uh, the ball of the foot, and then the the shape, the arch there. Um, yeah. A big break. So in between the break, the break of the wood, and the fall of the broken part of the tree. Um, so there's one, one part where she lets go of the wood, which you will see. So he accidentally presses the button to stop filming due to fear. Note the immense power of the brake and seemingly effortless body movement. Try without the volume down a little first. So now I've cut out, I've cut out the, the part where he explains why, the reason why. It cut off, so this is the cut, the edit here, the cutting point in the middle between these two sections. The first one is where she breaks the wood off the tree, which you've already seen, and the second part of this particular stage is where she drops the wood into the water, so it will continue. I'll play that. Okay. Moving on, we've got a lot to uh, a lot to cover here. Infant reacts. So as the um, so I already knew there was a baby, there was an infant on the back. So I remembered that. Um, I mean, it's such a, a big splash there in the water that there may be a reaction from this uh, little one on the back, and there, and there was. Which is, you know, it's perfectly natural reaction. Um, anybody would react this way, even especially uh, a child, which is um, hidden on the back, nice and safe on the back of the of the adult, cannot see the wood which is falling down because um, the baby is uh, the infant is on the back, so so we cannot see until until it comes into view and then it's kind of like too late and splash so naturally the head goes back jerks back and the eyes open widely so let's have a look at that so the face is here profile shot looking to the right is oh, I think this is like a kind of tuft of hair which comes off the top of the babies I have seen images of these uh, this type of thing Sasquatch babies in the tree with the hair coming off the top. There we go, look at that head going back and forth. Exactly the moment, exactly the moment the wood falls into the water. If I play it uh, real, uh, real time, you won't see it, it's just too fast. I'll play it now. Ah, oh, maybe if you, you can just pick that up, maybe. So I'll scroll back and forth. I use the cursors to um, back and forth with the the frame. So the eye is open, closed, open. I'll put the cursor there. Op open, closed, open, closed. There we go. Exactly the moment the stick hits the water. So we'll take a closer look at that convenient reaction kind of a keyhole view taking out any distractions around where are we are there okay just here exactly the moment 
the stick hits the water. And here's a uh, still uh, still um, enhancement. So here's the baby. What I believe could possibly be the profile of the of the adult, possibly. So she's lowering the stick down, and uh, naturally uh, she knows that there are her young ones possibly around. So she's gen gently uh, lowering lowering the stick and then lets go, but still looks to the right just in case. Um, it it might have dropped on onto one of them, so she's quite careful about that. So she looks to the right. So now she's looking slightly forward towards the tree and turning there, there. Possibly it's a bit sketchy, so I cannot say 100% on that. Toddler jumps up. Okay. Do you notice anything? any movement here around the the right arm the right elbow of the adult okay. no. did you see that scrolling back and forth something is jumping up there because I believe when she basically the, there's a baby on the front or infant on the front and one on the back as well which you've already seen but the one on the front um, at the point where the adult breaks open breaks off the the section from the tree it's kind of it's a really big kind of jerking motion and then naturally if there's something on the front they would have fallen off so I think it's fallen off and then kind of got back up again and I think that there could be the toes as it steps on the mother's knee stepping and here is the knee of the infant and here you will see the head popping up the knee, knee straightens knee straightens head pops up naturally as it stands up and there is what I believe to be a young one eyes nose mouth around here head um, conical head look at that head there maybe a couple of years older than the one on the back a few years scrolling back and forth so the knee comes up here, the foot is there, knee um, poking out and straightens and then head pops up as it stands up. So there's the face of the infant. Moving on, toddler grabs stick. Okay, yeah, I won't play this in uh, real time because it's just too fast. So here's the um, probably the same one which we just saw, which was on the front, but now it's moved around the back. Uh, face here, conical shaped head. I cannot quite see this. The cone head. Are oh, there the cone head there on the top? Uh, right hand is actually here. Here are the fingers holding onto this branch. The hand moves down, moves down here. Now the hand is here, fingernails. And watch this. This is the left hand. This could be the knee of this this small one, or it could be the mother. I'm not sure. The left hand is here. Watch this hand move up. This hand will move up, and you will see it grab on to this branch. There it moves up. I'll scroll back and forth. You can see the movement there. There we go. Fingernails. Sort of leathery, gorilla-like uh, skin. Hand. Obviously the color, like I say, the color is not is not true to the actual day. I mean the cell phone, I'm assuming it was a cell phone, it's, it's going to change things anyway. So that is a juvenile 
uh, young one. That is the hand of the of the infant there. Um, close up. Scrolling back and forth. Back, forward, back, forward. <laughs> okay. Interesting. The bite. So this is where the the mother um, takes a bite uh, or brings the object that she's found from the tree to her to her mouth. There we go. You can see the thumb, the thumb there as well. Back, forward, back, forward. I'll try and play this. I'm not sure if it's too. Yeah. Okay. Closer. So here is a thumb, thumb of the, I'm assuming it's the left hand, and the rest of the hand, the fingers will go around here, knuckles here probably. So this is something from inside the tree. Scrolling back and forth. Next getting up so uh, at the end the adult stands up here and you can see the difference between the colors um, the uh, young one on the back and her color which is a much darker color so part one the foot the foot uh, kick the foot kick Do you notice any movement there on the back as I scroll back and forth as she gets up just before she gets up something here is kicking out and that is a foot there so the knee is pivoting of the young one on the back and uh, the foot is here there's the foot right there ankle uh, joints toes here, bottom of the foot here, and heel, there we go, and a slightly enhanced version, look at the light shining on that um, bone there, by the way there's all kinds of faces in this, in this footage, um, you know, this could be another one here, which you will see throughout <laughs> throughout the video, but uh, I'm not I'm not going to go into into any possible different ones. Maybe another time. Getting up, part two, ankle detail. Not much detail, but you can see it's a bit of a um, kind of a closer look there of the foot, toes going up, curling up. Sometimes when you when you zoom in, it just uh, doesn't really help <laughs> like that. Getting up part three, that's no backpack. I'll play this part where he actually gets up, and then you hear the the uh, the, the person running away through the through the bush. So yeah, like I say, so the, one of the the reasons I, I realized that there was a young one on the back is when I saw the end of this footage here and noticed some movement after stabilizing and noticed some movement here. Head moving. Separate movement to the to the main end to the main um, figure. There you go. There's the head of the infant on the back moving. I think the hand is here, so that would mean probably the elbow is kind of lower down here kind of squashed up against the adult and here's the black and white 
Ah, there, right. Clear movement, there. Separate movement. And you can see the separate color. It's clearly, uh, some, it's not actually part of the adult, it's actually separate um, object, separate uh, creature on the back, uh, and an infant. The white object. So it's not it's not a label on the on the suit guys. <laughs> so here's the f one of the first times I noticed the object, which looked like it was being passed from the adult under here. So I think it might be part of the something that the food what they're eating from there, and I think they might be the one of the young ones here. So this is early on earlier on in the in the video I think, if I remember. There you go receiving giving and receiving there I think I mean it is quite sketchy it's hard to tell if that is a face or if it's the hand of the adult or, or what but clearly some uh, pivoting going on there some some movement there sharing same thing okay moving on white on back so we're talking about the same thing the object so as she gets up at the um, this is not the end moment there's another moment where she gets up stands up and then back down again yes I know there are lots of um, possible <laughs> um, other individuals here, but like I say, it's, it's not very clear. And here's the other uh, face which I noticed I uh, talked about earlier brow ridge there, etc. So, standing up, the white object I think is basically the, um, the honey or something which they're uh, eating, and the, in the young one is still on the back and it's holding that object and it's the sun is shining on the object which will make it much more um, whiter and, and and you can also see the thumb holding on hand and thumb holding on there we go just look at the color S such similar color blending in with the with the the mother which is really perfect um, camouflage for blending in there Closer look, thumb on the object, holding on clearly. So the head is here, looking at, looking towards us. I think, I believe, face. I think there's a face there if you can see. The conical head. So this is the um, the mother's head. Very black, different color, and the front of the skull there. Moving on. Um, I think I've gone too far forward. No, that's it. So, so here we have a conclusion. In my opinion, this is definitive proof of evidence for the existence of Sasquatch, aka Bigfoot, Skunk Ape, etc. This is not CGI, too many variables, different angles, foreground detail, um, plus clear audio as it happens. So it would be just too difficult to make CGI in this case. It, it's not. Two, this is not a suit. Too much free movement. They would have to, they would also have to make suits for babies or the infants on the back and attach them on the back of the adult and front also. Three, no human um, of that equivalent size, I don't believe anyway, has, uh, and build, could achieve that level of strength to break open that tree. Four, not misidentified. There's no other living creature that would resemble this. The closest would be a human. It's not. Then chimpanzee, body proportions are wrong. This is real. 
I know what some people are thinking. This cannot, this can't be real. No Bigfoot is going to be caught out in the open like this. So, but if the kids want candy, they get candy, namely the honey. So again, with the kids, um, his or her back is turned, probably not aware of the man. They are only human, partly, and where there's kids involved, like I say, the focus is on them even to the point of not being fully aware of their surroundings. Just think of some of the best Bigfoot footage and there will usually be young ones involved. Would I have stayed longer to continue filming? I simply do not know. I was not there. Perfect reaction for a perfect ending, like a movie that needs no sequel. So this is what I believe. Um, perfect ending. So I was just making these sort of notes here because I know there's going to be a lot of questions and people saying this cannot be real, etc, etc. So what I've done here, this is the end now and I've put two clips together, one after the other, two separate clips. One is of the, the breaking and one is the getting up and the scrambling away of the person filming. Okay, just play that. Okay, thank you for watching.